art isn't the same today as it was 600 years ago. You know, it's it's not about overt skill in it. You know, the ranks of greatness today, they're, they're reserved for people like me, you know, who, 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 who see art for what it really is. And I mean, in, in a thousand years after the Earth has been nuked by an army of super intelligent subterranean piranha monkeys, my art will be discovered and it will rise above and it will shape the culture of the new world. Yeah. For as long as I can remember, my, my parents wanted me to be a doctor. Like, I was going to help people, like Grandpa Mordecai. And um, so after high school, I got accepted into Johns Hopkins, and I was, I was riding on the wind. It was, it was great, and I realized I was never happy. It crushed my soul. And uh, after the soul crushing, I decided, Chris, Chris, you've got to be an artist. You've got you've to let the world know. And so I went to the clinic where I was working, right? And I, I took all the hearts out of the coolers, all the chairs, and then I, 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 I tied them up at the IVs, and it was funny, and they were pissed. Just because my art has been widely discredited by the art world, it doesn't mean that it's, it's bad. You know, to, to, to really be immortalized in the art world, you, you have to step out. You know, break the mold. Do something no one has ever seen. Like, uh... And da Vinci, take Da Vinci for example. You know, people people are pretty apprehensive about his shift into uh, into expressionism. You know, uh, uh, Picasso. You know, people people hated people hated his transition into cubism. I don't think that's necessarily true. There was, of course, some critical response, but not everyone loathed it. Well, yeah, yeah, but it was it was radical. You know, I mean, it, it, it was crazy. You know, people. He, he, he was like, you know, the point is, is that you have to step out. You know, you know, give people something new, something fresh, something that they've never seen before. Well, I've noticed your work is highly reminiscent of Jackson Pollock. Was he a source of inspiration for you? Jackson, what now? I was basically just going in circles because I mean, I couldn't go home. Have you ever met Jewish parents whose kid just got kicked out of med school? <laughs> So I, I, I was going in circles and going in circles, and I kept coming back to the same place. And I realized, I realized that I was an outcast, that I was this malignant tumor, this pus globbing, disgusting tumor that okay. was dripping blood from okay. the side. Okay. Okay. We got the image. See, when I look at this, I see a man who bears the weight of the world on his shoulders. You know, you can tell from the curvature of some of the parts of the paint here that he was clearly painting in a fit of, of rage. You know. This isn't a work of art. This is a representation of the darkness that's inside all of us. See, when all the Caravaggios and the, the Renoirs and the, the, the Degas are, are go gone, <laughs> art humor, it's things like this, you know, works like this that will shape the world of art in its own image. This, my friend. Wife gonna kill. Oh, hey, here's my son's paint. Pretty good for a three year old, don't you think? Proud of it. I was sitting in my trash can, and I believe that Jesus the Nazarene came to me. Jesus. Jesus the Nazarene. And it was him, or it was the dead cat in the trash with me, I don't know. But one of them looked at me, and he said to me, Chris, be an artist, but you've got to believe in yourself. And you still believe today. So... What's the critical response been to your piece is from this wandering period? <laughs> it's wildly unpopular. <laughs> All right, welcome to my humble Evo day. Come on in, I'll unlock it for you. You see, we got the massive bedroom. We got uh, the guest bed up there, it's wonderful. Once we get some power in here, this over here is gonna be the kitchen. Huh? 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 Beautiful place. And I got it on the cheap too. You know, I actually really like what you've done with the space. It's not small, it's cozy! Oh, I'm... Thanks. I mean, I don't see the point of having a, you know, big house with indoor plumbing. All I need is a roof over my head to keep out the rain, so I don't get the hip again. That's not exactly how... I'm sorry. Never mind. Where do you see yourself in ten years? Dead? I'm gonna say dead. Yeah, dead. You know, worm food. <laughs> yeah, probably. Definitely, Ted. Uh, your muffins, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you got this, right? We're an independent film company. We don't comp these kinds of purchases. Oh, of course you don't. Of course you do. 